third leg glider, and again at the back, Cunio just looking a little slovenly. So, yeah, from just a wacky game, really. Just not travelling quite as well, quite as fluently as Marcus is starting to bounce a little bit. Cunio, horse with. Now, if you don't know this already, I like to get in and out of the market within 10 seconds. Once we start pushing 10 seconds or getting close to 10 seconds, we need to start getting out, whether that means taking a loss, or whether that means um, taking a smaller profit, because you're going to close off the 2 6 instead of, say, 6 or 4 or whatever, then you need to do it. Um, and it doesn't matter if the market would have come back, you would have got matched up, because you don't know if, when you actually face the bet what happens. It's, uh, it's a case of playing position right at the time. Nudge away. So never be concerned Nine -year -old that something came back and you would have made money because oh, and it looks that as kind if of Link attitude lost his action is being pulled up. Of course, yeah. Flink is out of the race. Now you can see the prices have dropped in because Flink, Flink is just full. Right. It is a Malfi Doug leading just two Which others now. Which was the favourite? As they come over the water, that makes it even harder to make money on this race seconds. now because it looks like a two-horse race and they're third. both pretty much Hasn't even really money. Any further ground. So, of course, the point is at two Jay again, so we can make money at two, right but we, we need to get out quick if we do go in. There's still quite a bit of time left at the moment. For the final time. Fence number 12 coming up. And so we've just Doug. got to wait for this opportunity to arise. Second, Will it show its ugly head to us? In third. All safely across the See, I'm not pulling the trigger. I'm not just fence. chucking in at any old price. I'm literally waiting for something side. that looks reasonable. Has just lacked a little bit of enthusiasm his performance so far, Cunio. And I still can't say much. The journey into the back straight. I want Cunio to pick up a little bit and that price to come in. Come out of here, man! Look like they're travelling well. The purple sleeves as they cross this open ditch, but he went. A little low over that fence there did a lick lighter. Certainly wasn't as okay, now I could be leader. tempted, but I'm gonna need, need a bigger stake. Further four lengths behind I'm gonna go in this, third. this price. Coming now towards a plain fence, a Malfi Doug from Lick Lighter. No. Lick -Lighter See there's not no the money beneath me, that's why I took that out. Even though I would have got matched both sides of the book. So they make the journey it just wasn't worth it. And there's six hundred quid there. Going down the far side of the track, they have four more fences. So let's just say can we get no, I'm cancelling it off straight away. And it is in front, a Malfi Try again. You can cancel and get back in as many times as you want. Around about three parts of a length over Lick Lighter in second. Kudu I'm out of here, man. Out. It's an uphill task from there back in. See, first. often they it's a waiting game. Home, a Malfi Doug. If we can do that again. A couple of lengths. This is his patch, a Malfi Doug. We're okay. Lick Lighter has I'm looking at race time. I don't want him to get into the end of the race uh, when it really gets to the point where someone's going to be looking at winning or losing. Final. And we're out. And that is it. Now we're in the danger zone. You can see these two runners, the price is going to go crashing in crazy. Uh, I need to try and green this up a bit better, actually. Okay. So it's still a two horse race. Amalfi Doug responding well towards the and that's it. And the two are out. set to fight out the finish of the Kilmaney Cup. Amalfi Doug towards the inside of Lick Lighter. Here's the final fence. Amalfi Doug is back fractionally ahead. We might get a photo finish. Second. Will Lick Lighter go on. past? See if we can make on a photo. It's that close. It's so close. Back in third. It's Amalfi Doug has been there all the way. It looks like it's going to be a close run. Finish the hand over Lick Lighter. Lick Lighter was certainly close. Probably not quite. A couple of furlongs back. But it's closing again as they near the finish. Amalfi Doug. Come on, we want a photo. Back on the outside to pick Amalfi Doug. No. It's suspended. Lick lighter. Lick lighter the near side has if you looked at that, from a Doug, and they were well by using the race timer on a horse like on a race like that, I can see the prices were going to come in and out. And you can actually see how far they traded out to, you know, right up to six point two there, and right up to uh, eleven there, you know, as it's jumping around, and that was before the end of the race, obviously. So. Um, <clears throat> The reason I managed to get away with those, you can see that went red at one point because I knew there was quite a lot of time left, and that is thanks to the, the race timer. Um, without the race timer, I would have had to get that red. Um, obviously, I would have been thinking about it as soon as we hit that line there, but I promise you, this bit of kit here makes me loads of money, um, but more importantly, it saves me from playing my bank all the time. Anyway, that's £5.44, £4 £4 even. Um, we'll move on to the next race. Back over at Perth, there's still nothing that really suits me um, at Royal Ascot. So um, looking at these, I've got to be aware still that uh, all eyes are really concentrating on that meeting and uh, there might be less liquidity here. And also we've got to be aware still 
that um, the Euros football is going on and a lot of attention from the betting public is over there as well, which is going to have an effect on this market. And obviously we've got COVID-19 as well that's affecting it all as well. So it's a case of being careful, uh, looking for the right opportunity, not blowing our bank, um, getting in and out at the right time. So I'm using the race time to guide me on the right time to make my trades. I don't want to be in the business end of the race, which I've got as the last 20%. As is a three miler, I might be able to go a little bit further, but not much further if I do, just a dip into the red, but certainly not more than that. On a shorter race, I might go a lot less. I might only go up to sort of that line there. Um, that's why I've got these colour coded warnings, and you'll hear the Simpson sounds coming on, giving me warnings when I need to get in and out of the markets. That's really important. What's also important is finding a cushion in the market. So there's no point if I just pull up another runner, for example, this one here. There's no point in me laying here at, say, um, 15s, because it's not going to take much of a many bets to just clear all that money down and come all the way down here to 6.4. And you can imagine I'll be on a huge loss. So I've lost uh, at least my stake. That's like backwards of double most, probably more money. So we've got to be careful of that as well. We're looking for the right opportunity, the right moment. And if they don't appear, don't get involved. There's always more races, more opportunities to come. You've always got to remember that there's always better opportunities, better times, and whatever. Now, I can see like there's a nice little uh, amount of money sitting here at 600. Um, I am uh, attempting to get in front of, but the problem is the backside is, is right cushioned up against it or it's right sort of buttered up against it. So until that starts jumping around, it's no good. Hopefully, that money will stay, the price will go out, and then come. Be going up and down here and we can use it but unfortunately that's 600 quid don't know if it got matched or just got cancelled but it's out of the market now you can see so that is no good anymore but that, that's the sort of thing we're looking for anyway i'll put the sound on so you can hear oscar the race blue. gripper is going to take the next just ahead of oscar blue and then takara more towards the inside so i do and like to look at other runners as well up in the favorite the problem is the further you go down other runners or the more runners there are we're probably going to see less liquidity there's a little bit of money here it's not any big amount but considering that what's going in if you look at the white numbers the amounts are coming in there is a bit of cash to get out so i could be tempted to just put a little bit in there just sliding back a little bit. No, going to cancel it off. The grays, but it is Gripper out in front. Just notice. Through by Oscar Blue to Cara Moore as they make the Mistakes journey again. Too high, Rocker, not I looking don't want 750 this comfortable in Bye. making that right-handed turn. As they make 750 the is what I use for Royal Ascot with where there's more liquidity. Plenty of ground and a few Possibly 1250 well. or more, Don but Brocco. I just don't feel it's right it right now. Front, it often is at other front, times throughout the year. Blue, Last December, I was using 1250s on every race, and I still not make three grand in December. Um, but the markets aren't still as good now, with, believe it or not, as what they were in December. The me. Then follows Frankie's fire, and at Don Brocco, Thomas Wilmot. Been on one so this is creeping other, in, this is creeping in. We're getting to that point where we should right be sort of really starting to I'm out of here, man. Now. That's my first warning. You hear that? I'm out of here now. That's a warning I've got, but that is for shorter races. Not for Don Brocco making the approach to flight number nine. And it is Gripper over it in front to Oscar Blue landing in second. A bit of a sketchy leap from Frankie's fire at the back. So I'm putting that there because that's bouncing around Gripper nicely at the moment. But if so it doesn't around, bounce back Oscar out, we'll have to get out against one of these. Up in between runners. And there are a couple I've of got plenty of time left to put the race time up, so I'm not so scared not just yet. Yeah, I might have to take a look. In behind runners, the yellow sleeves of Curremont, and then out wider in black and yellow, Golden Chancer and Frankie's fire. Still not so scared rear. yet, but I've got to think about it soon. And it is Gripper still leading up. And we're out of here, man. Seven or eight lengths covering those who Do you understand why I, I didn't the take the loss? I didn't take the loss. I didn't know how much time it got left in the race. I knew there was plenty of time for it to bounce back out. Straight, and Golden Chancer now becoming quite attached at the back. Gripper and I knew I was probably going to get at the top of the home run. Pammy stalking the leader through. Smart getaway. We're in the same position. He's trying hard to go get these leaders. And we're out. And that's it. Now we're in that red zone. Looks as if Golden Chancer may be pulled up at the rear of the field. There's if the brace is better, put it say, I might the that's second last flight. Gripper uh, in the maroon and white jacket has been there all the now. way. Pammy is on the attack. Um, as is Smart because Getaway. Of the got a little bit close there, the three of them up front. Smart Getaway. And if you watch this race time, this is how it's pretty accurate. It depends on the ground. Obviously, the ground and the, the quality of the horse is going to affect it. 
you can see that I've done the right thing. I've skipped the business of the race where the, where the market is going nuts right now. So yeah, there'll still be time to get on certain runners. And now the race is pretty much over, isn't it? And you can see that the race time is pretty wide. Um, nine point. Oh, just close it. Market suspended. So unfortunately, I didn't even get matched in that race, but that's why it goes sometimes. There wasn't that many opportunities for me. The market didn't move around how I wanted. It's probably the only race in the afternoon as well. There is one later on at six o'clock that's on the distance, the Royal Ascot. But there you go. Sometimes you don't make any money on a race, but not making any money on a race is better than doing the wrong thing and phone your bank or losing money. So bear that in mind. Anyway, best of luck in the markets. Let's move on. Normally they will hold a race up when another race has run late. Um, and I can't believe they didn't. Anyway, we should be make a few quid here. Let's see what we can do. No rush to get in, rush to get out. Jacket. Then global jackpot. Just set everything back. Morgan seeking their second winners of the afternoon. Over another. My stakes right for this race. I'm only using small stakes because quality is not good enough. And the quality is better. We can use much bigger stakes, but better to be safe than sorry. That's what I would say. All in all, they remain tightly grouped. They've two miles of their journey left. Put some money in there just in case we get a spike. And it is partly straight in front. Taking the. But it's not really bouncing around so much. If it creeps down another tick or two, then we're out. Don't mind at the moment. Hitman Fred. Because I think we would get matched both sides of the book. But if things change, we have to change it off. I can't see that price coming down much lower than that. Not yet, anyway. It might do later on. But now there's money building up on the back side. And it's starting to creep down a little bit more. We don't really want to get matched now because we'll be behind all that money. So I'm taking it out for the time being. I can put it back in. Don't forget if that money disappears. Went a little out to the right Not really there. interested in the favourite. Price is too short for me. Global jackpot as they now pass halfway and approach fence at number nine, number nine of eighteen. I'd rather put some money here. There's, there's quite a bit of cash down there that we can get out against if this goes wrong. Global jackpot. I'd mind that. Over to the inside, up in trip today. Global jackpot as they come to the fence, which will be the last in a circuit and. All over safely. Just so we just want to try to dip into us and really get straight out, and get matched by sides of the the leader. Two seconds. And Parky's dream responded in when the market is doing this, you can tell you're doing the right thing. Over um, the when you're not quite He's getting matched, because you're in the right position, because you only want to get a spike to catch you. Parky's dream. Over that if that makes sense, you know. So making the. So I'm quite happy with that match there. Towards the. I'm thinking that should bounce back out. Is that 40 quid in the way, which I might have to jump in front of. Hopefully that will get matched up quick. Nearly got matched there, both sides, and we're out. So you can see we've got all this lovely money down here that's going to act as our cushion. Um, and I mean, there's no massive stakes in any of them, but the fact that there's money in every place right the way down to four, it gives you the chance to get in and out better. When you start seeing gaps and, and just all two quids, three quids, that's not good. So I'm going to see if we can get a bit more through here. At 90 quids put me off, because I'm going to have to go behind that on the exit. So I want to see that disappear, then I'll go back behind this At the moment, that's holding the price in, and we don't want to get matched and can't get out on our exit. It's your best to wait. Over here, look, there's 400 quid sitting there, which is Come out of here, man. Jump there up in between horses. Two or three lengths has opened up to in fourth hit man Fred. I've cancelled that off as quick as I can. And likewise, Ashjan. And I'm just trying to get out as quick as I can now. Towards four from home. Parky's dream. This is where it all went wrong for him last time. And we're out. still showing just ahead. More or less. To global jackpot. Millerville on the outer. Just close that last one. Well See the it price drops. Didn't hang around. Just got straight out. Parky's dream to the inside. Just in front of global jackpot. Global jackpot. Now we're getting a bit late. or in the race. I want more ticks. Then for a bigger profit. Up to get a bit closer. Skeptic working hard, and so is Ash Jan at the back. We have a new leader at the top of the home stretch. I'm out of here, man. Global jackpot. Now a length, a length and a half clear to Hitman Fred, who goes second, approaching the last of the open, okay. which is three out. We've got Marvel on that. The outside Millerville. Parky's dream struggling now is back in fourth. And a little break back to Skertrick, who needs a bit more. And Ash Jan at the rear, heading down towards the second fence from the end. is <laughs> Hitman Fred, who's breezed alongside. He is two from home. 
And it was just about Hitman Fred on the right. Along the inside is Global Jackpot. Now Hitman Fred starts to open up. Going towards Everything the closed off. 169 into the red. Thanks, Fred. Lovely jump over the final fence as well for Hitman Fred. Don't forget, I'll come into this race Fred late. So I, touching I, down is Global little... Jackpot. Uh, then Parky's Dream along the inside of Millerville. Skettrick is running on a little towards the outside. You had enough a minute. You see, I was totally down. right. That the race is very much on for the places. In terms of win purposes, this was done and dusted. Another one, 69 at pop. Move on. So, so on this race, I am using a different strategy. Uh, I'm looking at Charlie Fallows. I'm trying to get him as a cheap lay. Um, he's got a habit of trading in low and not winning. He has won a few races. Uh, at this price, I'm hoping he'll get into where I want. We've got a 75 tick off set in case he does bounce around, goes down, and comes back in and wins. So let's see what money we can make. If we get match, we might not get match with of course. Now for the final full on, they meet the rising ground. It's Come out of here, man. Oh, we're matched. By Isle of Lismore, who's going home powerfully for Kieran Fun and Isle of Lismore has struck the front. Come out of here, man. Crimson Sand starts to stay on, but Isle of Lismore's away. <laughs> He's a sucker. Ahead, and Isle of Lismore will win for Robert Cowell and Kieran Fallon. Raise a glass second, and it could be a market one, two, three, suspended. There you go. There's a quick 39 quid just by doing a bit of homework. Now, wouldn't it have been nice if you had come? Back and and one because look at that and it does happen sometimes believe me so I tried to go for 75 ticks which would have got me out at about eight but in actual fact I've got the profit for 75 ticks it was me 39.81 I think it was let's just have a quick check what do I actually get no sorry I've got 37.25 which would have been my profit sorry but had it have come back and won can you see that I would have actually made two and a half thousand pounds now. This doesn't happen very often, but if you get in these situations, believe me, it can happen now and again. Um, even if it happens only once a year or whatever, it's a nice little boost um, to your bankroll when it does happen. But there you go, 3981 for a couple of seconds of work, doing a bit of research, off you go. What did he actually trade into? Now, we, I went in at, let's have a quick look to show you. I think I've got it pretty right. 272 I went into and he literally traded in 272 now I'm not being funny it can't get any perfect than that it was only 118 pound match at that price the lowest price that I got into spot on anyway let's move on to the next race so Inver Park is another horse that often runs low in play um, I'm hoping we're going to get picked up right the way down here I'm out of here man fantastic offset about the horse winning um, is the key to it. So we can see the at the moment. Is the price going to just touch us up? I don't think he's going to win. I, think <laughs> he's going to <laughs> the I might have been a bit too greedy on this one. Looks like I was. Didn't get matched. Um, but that's the way it goes, you know. The beauty about these, the beauty about Market doing this suspended. kind of strategy, um, overdoing like a dog or something like that, I don't lose money on this strategy. Quite simply, if I don't get matched. Now. This is another race at Newmarket where I spotted this Glenter that has a habit of running trading in low. I mean, it's at very big odds compared to where it has trading in low. So I'm probably being a bit greedy. If I don't get matched, I don't care. I'm right down here at 60 quid lay with 100 tick offset. It's currently at 26. It's got to come all the way in and catch me on a spike at 3.35. If it does, it's going to be a nice profitable earner. If it doesn't, um, and it looks like it's going to win the race, um, then I've got quite a lot of opportunity to save some of my money. Um, it is a short race. It's only it's uh, one mile too furlong. I might have an opportunity to get a few uh, little uh, trades in elsewhere. So I'm just going to move away from this at the moment. Going to switch back over to four ticks. And obviously, we're going to watch it on here and make sure where it is. So at the moment, it's just 27, 28. Hopefully it will come in, match us up, and we'll make a lot of cash. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'd rather not get matched. Um, and then it goes through me, if that makes sense. So I'll get the sound back on. And we can hear what's going on. To stay well in second, Pythagoras round the inside of visualization, then King Frankel to the outside. So, I can get a few ticks here, that'd be nice. I'm out of here, man. 
from River Orwin, Sarumi, and then Alpha Delphi. There's a few ticks straight away. Just close it up because we're not closed up properly. Fantastic Fox comes back to the field. King Frankel and Visualization challenging. I'm out of here, man. So it doesn't look like our baby's going to get much, but it doesn't matter. We've still made a few quick. <laughs> Just going to close that door. Play something weird happens at the end. Visualization, then King Frankel, an Irish legend, Fox and we're out. Now veering, violently left so, back. this is the last race of Royal Ascot. I haven't done that well over Royal Ascot. I've done it right over the week, to be fair, considering Royal Ascot is on and taking the, the credit away from the other meetings. But all right, I'm quite happy with my results this week. We're up to £55.37 so far for the day today. Um... 100 quid the other day, a few 30s and stuff. It's all right for a couple of hours worth of day, isn't it? Not even that. A um, couple of hours if you added it all up. Um, probably about six, seven hours in total over the course of the week. Um, I'm going to make try and make some cash Market from this. Market suspended. I'll trade in it. Market uh, And we'll look play. at our records. And I'm going to share a load of Betfair secrets coming up. So please stay tuned. Please keep watching my videos. And I'm going to share a lot more information on how you become successful and copy what I'm doing. And this goes everything right the way down from doggly, uh, doggly. how to actually hit the markets, approach the markets, what to look out for, even how to keep something really important that a lot of people forget about, having your accounts department. It's all coming up soon. Anyway, let's make some money on this race and get out. Belongs and it's Staghorn from Green Book in second. So, as always, I'm just waiting for an opportunity in the market to beautiful little head and you can take advantage of it. I'm not too interested in the favourite, to be fair. I've increased my stakes to 750 um, because there's more liquidity, because it is Royal Ascot. There's going to be a few people betting on the last race, particularly the last race. Um, this isn't on ITV because they've got the football on. You've got to be aware that uh, it's going to be Portugal on right now. So people are going to be pissed And of course, it's on the racing channel. So you can see these are bigger stakes than what you might have seen on some of the other races today, which allows me to get more through because I'm going to have a bigger cushion. Right now it's a bit too buttered up, which often happens when there's quite liquidity basis. So I'm just waiting for that right up uh, This is probably one of the longest races at Royal Ascot. Two mile five so really well out in what is bound we're to be probably a only test in the third of the way through the race right Horn now, looking at the race the timer. Because he's a faster horse, like colour coded to whatever you want if you put the race timer. But I want to be out right here, possibly here, but probably find here for longer race. So there's plenty of time to go. And then back to no rush to get in. Too buttered up right now, look. To be wild, table and you certainly don't want to be scalping for one tick in play. That's just a stupid thing to even consider doing. So we're just waiting. You see, like, as a, like, what you want to see is these gaps in the market. There was a couple that just appeared there. Green book in second. Who dares wins in four See what's going on with some other runners. They're all the still part of that. The gray is fifth on the inside. But this will change in a minute. You watch. The next of the greys, Manette, is wide of global heat, followed by single. And then on the inside, Cleonte, to be wild. So, yeah, wide just waiting. Manette. It's often a waiting game. Um, where people go wrong is they try to get too much in the market, too quick, take too many risks. You don't do that. You wait for the You take it, make your money, get out. It's like a smash and grab when you trade. Now, see how the markets are now spreading out and there's more gaps. We're going to take advantage of those gaps. There's two grand sitting there. There's 400 quid there. We want to see that disappear. And then see what happens here. Because we might be able to use that two grand to our advantage. If it disappears like it is now, price is probably going to come in. Watch it happen. And there you go. As predicted. So now we're getting to the... Just before the business end of the race is where we normally make money. And this is where we're going to... Third is who dares wins. 
Calling the Wind is fourth on the outside. And then Mirando, followed by Barbados. Two I'm out of here, man. Of the Grand Vizier. So I'm looking at where else I can make money. Obviously, I've got a little trade in there if we get picked up. We're getting later on. I want you more ticks. Now the gaps are starting to appear in the market. back is Table Mountain. On their way now towards the final half mile, and still Staghorn and Staghorn and Green Book just have a couple of lengths or so on the field. Staghorn and Holly Doyle on the inside of Green Book and Ben Curtis and calling the wind into third. Miranda partly matched. Four. It's annoying when you get partly matched, and we're fully matched there already. I'm out of here, man. Now, if we're going to take this longer part, later part of the race, we want a few more ticks now. Is Staghorn coming under pressure? Red Jacket Green Book, but between the Say two, Stag Horn is. the wind has come there cantering inside the final quarter mile. Stratum stays on out wide. <laughs> the sucker. The Grand Vizier. Oh, Holy come on, get us out for a bigger profit. Immediately challenged now by Stratum and Ryan Moore, surely delivering the winning challenge. Stratum begins to power clear. Unfortunately, I didn't get a... Uh... Falling the wind and the Grand Vizier... You might have seen that green just pop up to 18 quid. Unfortunately, it only popped up for a second and it wasn't quick enough. It price didn't stay there long enough for me. Market to suspended. But it's still £8.45. That would do. So you add £8.45. Let's have a quick look at what we've done today. So basically, £8.45 to add on top of that. It's a £60 day for what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes work, another 10 minutes in research done today, 45 minutes work for 60 quid. Um, I'm not saying you can do that all the time. You can't make 60 quid like every hour of the day trading Betfair. What well, you might be able to do, if you're using bigger states, you can earn a lot more money, but I, I like to keep it nice and safe and get what I want. But you, you can earn more if you want to, but you can earn this quite kind of money but what this gives me is freedom you know if i average i had 105 the other day a few 30s and so on i've averaged about 300 quid i think this week all in all and um and for that i've done about a day's worth of work when i wanted to doing something i enjoy you know in my own time give up the job get on to bet fair trading and um get good at it and you can replicate this you want more money if you need more money you can do i don't put my eggs in one basket so i have other sources of income as well don't just rely on this but this week it's been about for me i'd say i don't want to show off but i've probably made about 800 quid this week all in all um and i haven't gone to work i haven't had to get out of bed before 11 o'clock in the morning if i didn't want to i can start till four o'clock playing guitar i can answer my emails i can do whatever i want you know what i mean what I'm trying to say to you, you, your life might be different, but what I'm saying to you, if you can get into that fair trade and get it right, you can create freedom in your life. Now, the reason I say this is because I used to work literally 12 hours a day for 25 grand a year. I'm earning more money than that now, a lot more money than that now, um, for doing not even a fraction of the work, which means I can do whatever I want with the rest of my time in life and actually enjoy my life rather than being a slave to the system. So bear that in mind. Um, if you want to do what I do, you need a copy of the Geek Toy. It's the best software out there. And if you get a copy of the Geek Toy, there's a link below. I can give you uh, my profile, so you don't even have to worry about setting it up. You can have it exactly the same as how I set it up. Everything's sorted out because you can program everything, even the size of these bars, everything you can think about, where they are, you know, whatever you want, you can program. You need the race timer if you're using Geek Toy to be able to. Um, monitor where you are, your progression in the race, so you don't have big losses, so you actually trade at the times that you're going to be profitable and not at the times where you're going to blow your bank or have a big loss. And uh, on top of that, you need an account system, which I'm going to talk about in my Betfair Secrets in the next few days. There you go, the money's in my bank, so it's 63.81 for literally less an hour's work today. I'm going to pop off, have a pizza, hope you enjoyed um, uh, Royal Ascot, I didn't particularly, didn't do that well out of it, but I've done okay on the other races. This is just a, a usual work, a usual kind of week for me. There'll be other markets, big big markets that come up throughout the year that I can really smash in on, by the way. Um, you know, I've, I do have days throughout the year where I make 600 quid, for example. I think it's the biggest one I've made so far this year. I have the odd day like that, which really boosts up all your, your, your money. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you want to earn 10 quid an hour, this isn't the for you though because it doesn't work like that 
some days you'll earn 10 quid, some days you'll earn 500 quid. It goes like that sort of thing, you know, for a few hours work. But anyway, any questions, any queries, leave a comment, drop me an email, whatever you like. I'd like you to get in touch. I always like to hear whether it's good or bad. If you've got, even if you've got something bad to say, I like to play devil's advocate. If you've got a point to make, make the point. We'll have a chat about it and see, you know, if you might have something to say that might help me, I might have say it helps you. It's all good. Anyway, other than that, best of luck. Talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed the meeting. Bye-bye. Introducing Geek's Toy Trading Software, the fastest, most customizable and most popular software for betting and trading on Betfair and BetDAC. Designed by professional traders for you. Key features include unlimited desktop settings and the ability to create custom profiles to suit every user's needs. Unbeatable speed, real-time prices and one-click betting. Unique management of multiple markets. You can bet or trade on multiple sporting events simultaneously. Support for eight languages. Context-driven help on every window. Searching and bookmaking, training mode, advanced charting, enhanced navigation, support for Betfair coupons, stop loss and more. Geek's Toy, possibly the best Betfair and BetDAC trading software in the world.